Hello, and welcome to my first blind Let's Play. As you can see, I'm playing Scratches, the director's cut. And uh, in keeping this with uh, blind Let's Play fashion, I know next to nothing about this game, other than what kind of game it is. <clears throat> I just, uh, I opened up Steam today, and I was like, Scratches. Uh, a game <clears throat> that says, if you enjoyed Mist, and you're a fan of uh, atmospheric horror, you'd probably like this game. So it's like, hell, why not? It's cheap, and I want to do a blind Let's Play, and I'm going to go right into this, technical issues and all. So uh, we'll have to see um, how this pans out. I'll just check the setup. Hence off. Maybe I'll turn them on if I get stuck. <laughs> um, speed fast, tech speed normal. I'm a fast reader, so yeah, you guys are gonna have to put up with that. Um, this will do. This is quite loud in my ears. I am going to <coughs> squeal like a little bitch if this game is scary. Alrighty, new. Let's hit it. Blind. Let's play. Scratches. Director's cut. Let's do it. Yay! Um, I want to play the director's cut. <laughs> this is quite eerie. It's quite cool. I have to see how this pans out. I arrived at Blackwood Manor one cold Saturday morning amidst a thick veil of fog. The weather didn't look good, and there was an unnatural calm surrounding the area, yet I soon became entangled with the place. Okay, that seems like there's an issue with the sound. Okay. The cloudy sky above me seemed rather unsettling and almost made me lose my balance. I missed the rest of that sentence. How do I move forward? That's my inventory. The 
Imposing main gates for guarding the entrance to the manor. I doubt I'll keep this accent up. Okay, here we go. Alright, simple point and click. But with a, a nice 360 dynamic. Well done. A hefty lock was preventing my entry to the garage. The garage! There was no way I could open it with my bare hands. No way indeed. Yeah, really not sure if I want to actually characterize uh, the reading at this point. Um, looks pretty cool so far. Like I said, I don't really know anything about this. Um, though, yeah, I can kind of see... If you know your way around mist, you can, uh... Whoa, it's quite expensive, actually. I'm gonna get lost quite quickly. So, yeah, it's a little bit... It's quite interesting, because mist, um... I loved mist as a child, and I always found, uh... The door to the greenhouse was stuck, probably due to some serious rusting of its hinges. I'd agree with that. Um... Yo, I mean, I loved mist as a child, uh... I wasn't too good at the puzzle solving, but I loved walking around and exploring the landscape. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'll see how this pans out. Don't know what kind of horror I'm going to be experiencing. The tree had a little hole in its base which allowed some water to pass through. And that's all we have to say on that matter. There was a small pool of water below the arching tree. Okay. That's how I leave. Alright, we should probably head back to the house. And So I look down there. This must be the way back to the house. Seems that's all there is to this outdoor area, I guess. Oh no, there's another path there. What's this? I always feel uh, blind let's plays are most suited uh, to games that have an eerie atmosphere. They're more a uh, horror oriented. The massive double doors leading to the interior of the chapel were locked. Okay. So I guess we have to head to the house. But yeah, as I was saying, horror games always suited to the, uh, to blind let's plays, I feel like. Everyone plays Amnesia The Dark Descent, because it's a great game, and it's got great, uh, horror atmosphere to it. But I've seen too many let's plays to kind of play that and, uh, not actually be surprised. Well, and actually... I wouldn't be able to play it and still be surprised. I mean, I might get startled every so often, but uh, I, I know the puzzles from watching Let's Plays. So let's go inside. The door to the house was locked, fortunately. That seems odd. Have I missed part of the story? <laughs> I thought we were, the whole point was to explore this house. And now we get stuck into the I spend hours clicking on random things trying to find my way around and I probably need to start observing things a little closer so we established that this was locked what do I have? this is a key um... okay let's try this no, oh, grab it. The key didn't fit there. Okay. Whoops. Got to get used to the, the fact that this isn't a WASD uh, move scheme. Okay, we'll try the key on this front door. What? With very little effort, the key unlocked the front door. Well, that's a good, uh, good start at least. Alrighty. 
A majestic grandfather clock was gently ticking nearby. It was almost sleep-inducing, but I was glad it was working. Not too bad. Distinct lack of massive... Oh, telephone. Uh, telephone. Which way is the telephone, I wonder? Is it piano? It must be this room. There's the telephone. Hello? Hello? Michael, it's me. Hey, Jerry. It's good to hear your voice. I see that piece of junk you got there is working. My thoughts exactly. I was afraid it'd fall apart as soon as I laid my fingers on it. So how did you find everything? Do you like the place? It's hard to tell yet. I'm very impressed, that's for sure. You sound odd. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. It's just that I'm in awe. I mean, pleasantly surprised. This house is like a dream come true. So you do like it? You got me worried there for one second. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn this place into a factory of horror stories. Good. You ought to finish that book. I'm rooting for you, mate. You sure everything is in order? Well, I just got here. Let me have a look around, and I'll get back to you if I find anything strange. Excellent. I'll talk to you later. Well, well, I have a friend called Michael. That's somewhat comforting. Or was Michael my character's name? Damn. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Okay, this looks like quite a nice place. But as I was saying, distinct lack of uh, big screen TVs and uh, consoles. I guess I'm here to write a book, so, uh... Not much interesting there. Um, what's through here? Dining room, eh? Ahem. <clears throat> I certainly wouldn't have minded trying those expensive wines, except that nobody ha would have been around to pace me. Yeah, well, <laughs> not a big fan of wine, personally. Uh, I'm more a simple beer man. <laughs> Guess that's what happens when you don't water the plants for a long time. Astute observation, my dear fellow. Some nice china. Generic standard lamp. Still, it was elegant and tasteful. Is this the same? It was just some useless junk. Oh, it's a nice thing to say about some the, the crockery of the household. Quite a cool painting. So I guess I'm just looking around. As of yet, there's no uh, real objective. Upstairs. What do we got over here? More vases. Several vases of African craftsmanship craftsmanship were standing against the west window. God damn it. I'm gonna have to start drinking water when I'm doing this. There's a lot of reading to be done. I don't usually get a dry mouth when I'm doing commentary, but for some reason when I'm reading I always do. The drawer was stuck beyond hope. That's a cool painting. I'd just change the frame, I'd have that in my room. <laughs> not, not a fan of the fancy golden frames, I'm just like, keep it keep it nice and simple. Less enthused about that painting. <laughs> Suddenly this has turned into, let's critique art with Griffin triple six. Um, I'll stick to the ground floor uh, for the moment. See if we can go through here. Kitchen. Not too bad. What do we got to eat? Zen bust. Some flour, tea, sugar. Sweet. Tea and sugar's all I need, mofo. Got plenty of tea, sugar, and zen bust. Some seeds. Some. Could be. Could be recipe for popcorn. Old uh, stove, stove style popcorn.
There were plenty of kitchen utensils in the house ready to be used. Well, that's always good. The door to the oven was firmly stuck in place. Not as good. <laughs> can't cook anything if I can't start the oven. Teapot is all set. Apparently the water wasn't running. Oh, this is just getting worse and worse. Fridge. The interior of the refrigerator was begging for some serious cleaning, not to mention a powerful disinfectant. Well, yeah, we got bones, no ice, cutlery, <laughs> and uh, empty bottles. Yeah, definitely need some food in there. There's a back door. Oh, should try and look at all the rooms in the house, see if I can determine what's going on. I hope I'm not moving around too fast and, uh, for you peoples on YouTube. I want to look at that painting. Why am I so obsessed with looking at the paintings? <laughs> the bed in this room was miserable looking. So I'm hoping there's another bedroom upstairs. What do we got? Well, that's somewhat ominous. Photo of the forest. That's uh, something. Oh no, that's uh, that's the a bridge, and there's the mansion in the background, I guess. Okay. Place is full of exquisite, albeit aged candelabras. Okay, desk. Desk is always a good place to start. The topmost sheet of paper on the pile had some curious markings on it, so I grabbed it to have a closer look. Okay. Housekeeping. Lilo something. Here's another airy picture of a forest. And a coot squirrel. Yay! Which is actually Satan in disguise. <laughs> Just a bunch of uninteresting books. Amen to that, brother. I know all about uninteresting books. Okay, next room. What do we got over here? Oh. The drawer. Gotta check the drawer. Looked like whoever stayed in this room loved photography. Fair enough. Useless junk. Some clothes. And an empty drawer. Moving on. Ah, the bathroom slash dark room, which isn't very dark. I intended to brighten up the whole place, but to my surprise, the lights wouldn't work. Ah, sufficient natural light for the moment. Smell coming from the toilet prevented any further investigation. Well, in that case, I hope there's another bathroom. Now that was the photo from the intro. But what does it mean? Now what room was that? Was that the kitchen? So I went through that door. It seems to be telling me to go through the other door. And already I feel a sense of unease in my stomach. That's the fountain outside. Just all the photos. Who are these people? They look quite ghostly. So it's just the uh, photos from the intro. Alright. Have a go. Have a look through that. Oh my God! I don't exist. I'm a ghost. That's the twist of the entire story. <laughs> oh well, I can stop playing then. Okay, this door. The door to what I assumed was the basement was locked. Coolies. I doubt this is going to work a second time. Nope, doesn't fit. What is this? How do I read this? That wasn't useful. I want to read it. Let me read it, please. 
magnifying glass and thing. It was a piece of paper with some strange markings, and I was sure there was much more to it than at first seemed clear. Okay. It was my journal. This house is amazing, far beyond my wildest dreams. Jerry's efforts have truly exceeded my expectations. Okay, so I'm Michael, Jerry is my friend. Better get acquainted right away. Jerry says the electrician should be on his way to solve the lights problem. I feel relieved. It seems the house is out of power. You can't have everything, I guess. Hopefully it's just a minor glitch, but I should tell Jerry. Okay. Well, there were some other doors I didn't check on the other side of the house, and I gotta go upstairs still. Um, which way did I come into this room? I came in through there. So let's see what these doors do. study. This is a nice room. I mean, I probably want to carpet it. Put a decent couch there. Big screen TV, consoles. Though I do like a fireplace as well, so, uh... Whoa. Okay, that spun quite quickly. And it just goes right the way around. Back to England. Diploma granting the title of construction engineer to James T. Blackwood. Most of the clocks in this house weren't working, except for the one at the front. Several trophies for remarkable accomplishments adorned the room. I've always wanted a library in my house. I have far too many books, DVDs and games. I really need uh, the shelving space. Okay, let's have a look at this. More photos. Some uh, Asian banknotes and coins. Plenty of cigars. That's a plus. And a locked drawer. Ha! Huh, so much... <laughs> so much reading. February 6th. The construction of the railway bridge is almost complete and went quite smoothly. It took longer than I expected, yet I wish it would have lasted longer. I will be very sad to leave South Africa. Fair. <laughs> Fail at reading. I've become so attached to it, its culture, its arts, over the past few months that I can't help feeling as if it was already a part of me. I will surely return someday, soon hopefully, although I'm afraid there is a great deal of work to be taken care of back in Old Britain. Fortunately, I made good friends here who are ecstatic about my new appreciation of their country. They have offered me some wonderful objects as a token of gratitude, which I have already cre uh, crated and got ready to ship, along with many trinkets I bought myself. It looks like I'm about to start a very substantial collection. It's a good thing Catherine agreed to move into, their, into our new home. Although I fear several renovations will have to be made, even more if I'm intending to start a serious new hobby. It seems I'll have to get back to work. John Patterson has just told me some natives are causing trouble. A very unfortunate thing, although I'm secretly rejoicing. Well, that's a bit racist. <laughs> but that explains all the uh, African pots and things in the house, at least. February 12th. The natives won't leave. It's not like they're causing trouble so much as they're unsettling our workers. The only complaint so far has been distraction. They just stand still between the trees staring at us. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Without blinking an eye. I've watched them for a few minutes and they truly seem like some tenebrous... tenebrous statues. At first it was just annoying, but lately it has become downright creepy. They seem to be stalking us. So it's not like they're hindering the construction, but there is a general uneasy feeling as if they're about to jump at us at any moment. I think I'll hire some protection as a measure of precaution. Okay, well, that's good. It wasn't too long. <laughs> I hope I don't have to do too much reading that's crucial to the, uh... Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. 
Okay, so the sound's slightly out of sync, unfortunately. Um, I'll see if I can fix that. A journey to the sources, the sources, the sources of the Nile. <laughs> okay, wait, what's that? Can't move to the other side and look at the desk. No, never mind. Okay, books over here. Alright, guess I'm done with the study then. Almost. What's this? More cigars? No, smoking can kill you, especially when the cigars are decades old. Okay, well that puts paid to that idea then. Not that I actually smoke cigars. <laughs> Okay, and we're back in the drawing room. Okay, so I made the complete circuit, and there is another way to go upstairs. Oh, yeah. Some paintings of God. That clock is quite loud. It looked as if... It looks as if... <laughs> it looked as if an untidy person enjoyed reading in the living room. Okay, so they call it a living room, not a drawing room. I'm not sure which uh, era this is actually supposed to be. I mean, there's obviously cars and refrigerators. I always wanted to be a pianist, but eventually found another use for my fingers. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey. Okay. More clocks that don't work. Well, that looks somewhat sinister. And I'm sure I should know that painting from somewhere. I don't recall. That's somewhat sinister. What have they been playing? Yep. It's all gibberish to me as well. Alright, we'll see. Can I call Jerry, I wonder? I wonder if that will advance anything. I thought about calling Jerry, but I couldn't remember the number his number in London. Well that's useless. Write it down, you stupid prick. <laughs> Alright, we're going upstairs. I remember that Jerry said a nice room had been prepared for me upstairs. I hope so, and the one downstairs is pretty shit. 